Okay guys, here we go. Getting ready to start season mode. Now remember, this is pretty long, so I'll be my own character thrown through all this. The first off, let's go to Entry Superstar. So make sure I get myself in. And get these two out, and we're all set. Everybody else is entered in. Good. Okay, I'll be. Uh oh. I think I didn't put myself in. Sorry, <laughs> forgot. There we go. Okay, maybe that'll help. Look. Hey, there I am. Let's go for it. Yeah, we'll just add the crate superstars in there. I don't care. <laughs> just have some fun. I want the title? You bet. We welcome you here live for WWE Raw. Good evening. Tonight we it's will. Time for this year's draft. Tonight we will witness the first ever World Wrestling Entertainment Draft. Vince, Vince McMahon will represent SmackDown and Ric Flair will represent Raw. Tonight, the choices by Mr. McMahon and Mr. Flair will take the superstar's life from now on. Well, Mr. Flair and Mr. McMahon will take turns pick superstars from their respective brand. The entire roster will, will be available for selection during the draft. They will pick 10 superstars for each show. The rest of the superstars will be decided by lottery. In the entrance of the, the time, only 20 picks will actually be made live tonight. Imagine how the superstars feel about this. A, a lottery will be held immediately after Raw to determine the placement of the rest of the roster. If you would like to skip the internal draft, press the circle button at the top 10 draft select screen. The, uh, the, uh, do the undisputed champion will not be eligible to be drafted and uh, due to a control clause. Snow City Boston is uh, not eligible to, to, to be drafted either. Some superstars don't take part in the draft because of injury. Thank you for your attention this evening. And the best of luck to all the WWE superstars. Um, I'll go raw. That's what the heck with it. Heck with it. Since I, Vince McMahon, drafted Ric Flair a uh, defeat from point toss, so on my behalf of WWE SmackDown, I, Vince McMahon, choose Brock Lesnar. What? What the hell is going on here? I decided to pick a man who is a, the cornerstone. My number one draft pick for WWE Raw is. Me. Hitman Reinhardt. I'll just go through it, guys. For my second pick, I choose The Rock. Hey, look at this, JR. Hmm. Remember that little, uh. <laughs> uh just a second. My, my second pick goes to the next star of Dirty Raw. Remember that the Rocky Matt says, you are an asshole in the whole 
crowd kept going back and forth. Um, how about Kurt Angle? Kurt Angle. The next person who represents the SmackDown brand is Raw Van Dam. It's the Nature Boy's turn. Let's let's do it, Chris Jericho. The next person who represents Eddie Raw is. Chris Jericho. On behalf of Dirty Smackdown, I choose Booker T. Okay, um... How about Kane? Next person who represents Harry Raw is... Kane. On behalf of W SmackDown, I choose Chris Benoit. Let's go to the big show. For Raw to truly, for Raw to truly be Raw, I have to pick the superstar next. The big show. Check this out. <laughs> The next person who represents W SmackDown is Landstorm. <laughs> yeah, th th that's when they were there. Uh, uh, the uh, Un Americans, Landstorm Christian. Let's see here. Um. Yeah, why not Edge? The next person who represents W Raw is Edge. Surprise, Edge. Now it's Mr. McMahon's turn again. I can't wait. The, uh, please listen to me carefully. My next draft pick for SmackDown is Eddie Guerrero.
Alright, who's your pick next? Um, why not test? For draw to do your raw, I have to pick this superstar next. Test. Check this out. <laughs> Okay, only three more to go. Now it's Mr. McMahon's part again. I can't wait. Neither can I, King. <laughs> On behalf of Dirty Smackdown, I choose. William Regal. Okay. Um let's go with let's go with the EP. Ladies and gentlemen, the Raw brand is proud to announce the next draft pick. I mean its next draft pick. DDP. The next person who represents Philly Smackdown is... Jeff Hardy. It's the Nature Boy's turn. Mm. Let's go above Ray Dugley. For Raw to truly be Raw, I have to pick this superstar next. Bubba Ray Dudley. Okay, let's have the final pick. This is the last pick for SmackDown, and I made my careful decision. My last pick is... Goldust. <laughs> Vince just made a big mistake. He fought, he fought the SVP before I made the 10th person. Okay, um... Not Rhino. We'll pick Rhino. Rhino. Okay, right, they'll do it. For, for the draft pick. So I'm on heat. April 1st. And else, guys, we will do some wandering around and all that stuff, so. Now I'm against Tajiri, Hurricane DDP versus Taz and Tess, and then Hell Cell Triple Threat, Chuck, Spike, and Mark Henry. Now, actually, now that's the first for a heat history to have Hell in a Cell match. Because <laughs> I don't remember any heat having any Hell in Cells. What's my status? They actually built up a little later in the season. Hey guys, you can't hear the announcers very good. There you go. Here I am. It takes a long time well because I'm afraid to start. Hi, Henry my heart. Today is your debut match. How do you feel about it? I can't wait to get in the ring. Actually, I'm pretty nervous right now. Do that one. I see. Well, good luck in your first match. 
I got killer moves, guys. Trust me. Okay, well, let's walk around or run around. There's nobody in the hallway. Nobody down here. Over here. But in here, let's search the boiler room. Right there. Anybody around me? Is there anybody here to talk to? Nope. in the stock room. Oh shit, we gotta check the locker room too. I'll get back up all on that. Okay, let's see the parking. Well, the parking lot. Nobody's here. Nobody's out here. Jeez. <laughs> Where's everybody? So yeah, guys, you can walk around, too. That's the best thing I like about season mode, is that you can walk around with without a time limit. I don't need no sneaking ticket. Everybody around here, jeez, what is everybody? Everybody hates me. <laughs> and there's nobody around here. Good land. There is nobody here. Yeah, guys, that was the world if you want to know. Plus, guys, when it gets in December and January, November, you'll see snow outside. Guys, check locker room. Nobody in here. All right, there's nobody here. I'm going here.
Oh, there's nobody in the VIP room. Okay. Nobody here. Okay, let's go on with our match then. Here we go. Yeah, to tell that wandering around for nothing. <laughs> Alright, go there. Let's go with it. See, yeah, guys, every arena is, is the same. If you haven't noticed, the parking lot actually says Smack, SmackDown Arena, so yeah. I mean, nothing's different. It's pretty simple pattern to go through and where you're not. Okay, let's whip to to Jerry's butt. That was a killer move. Wait. that. Game right. Comes the trap five. Boom. Good no, yards. The trap five. It's over. Like that, first match on, on heat, took care of it. Something's going on here, let's see. 
Maven. Hey. Hey, you're a Hitman Reinhardt, right? I saw your match. But that was a great win for your debut match. I got my ass kicked so bad in my first match. Well, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me anything. I could teach you a, a thing or two. Okay, see you later. Then Taz beat the Hurricane Tag and Chuck wins the Hell Cell over Matt Hardy. Back on heat, same week. Now I'm against Mark Henry in the cage match escape. Al Snow for Rico, then Crazy Custom versus the Big Show in single. Big Show's on heat? What? That's all right. <laughs> Can't hear GGR King very good. I don't know why. Let's see him around. Well, if there's anybody in the VIP room, then there's no one here. Just like last time. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Nobody's here, guys. I, I know for a fact. <laughs> If there's nobody in the VIP room, then there's then there's nothing at all. Anyway, here's the session stand. It's like everything mostly completed. See? So I don't even unlock nothing. Hey, I'll check lock. I'll check lock room just in case. And there's somebody here. Okay. Heck, Maven was here. Okay, there we go. My first match was Mark Henry. Well, I mean, second match. I tell you to actually meet anybody who's either at a pay per view show or a Raw or SmackDown. Strong and smash me, lift it on my shoulders. And then give the trap five. I'll say I give him the trap five.
got there, that's straight. Karen was owning me. Bye, bounce back. I'm straight there, too. He's out. It's over. Just like that. Got Mark Henry. What well, a jury? How is he jacking me for? Oh, because Maven. So it looks like me and Maven are allies. Al Snow beats Rico, Big Show beats Crazy. All right. Bummy, that's what I thought. I think I'll probably heat for on heat like a month, baby. I'm gonna get it raw. Alright. And me and Maven versus Tajiri and Mark Henry in a tag. Spike Duckley versus Big Show, and then Al Snow and Edge versus Undertaker and Taz. Undertaker, they have to be champions on Heat? Oh my gosh. Well, he's a champion going anywhere he wants, but on Heat? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's see if there's anybody in the VIP room. And there isn't nobody there, then nobody's around. Nope. Everybody's here. Yeah, he's yeah, uh, he's the one who blew the air ticker in the World Rumble Note too. 
And the Undertaker was kicked. Came in the ring and he eliminated Maven and then, then he hit him with a chair and they went backstage and he just got manhandled. I think that's one of his theme songs he doesn't want to remember. <laughs> okay, here we go. My first tag match. I'm coming. My hair missed. <laughs> awesome. I thought it was going to be a pin, but it didn't work. Me and maybe win. Uh, to do as speak. What? Hey, punk, you made you make me sick. I can't stand you. Hey, speak English. Can't believe it. If you have any guts, then 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 you'll face me in a street fight match. Sure, I'll kick your ass. <laughs> say nothing. I'll say that. I don't mind bringing weapons in the ring, no question about that. Bradshaw beats Spike Ugly, and as usual, the Undertaker beats Al Snow and Tag. The, the, the champ's gotta win <laughs> on a small show. Alright. Phase into Jerry and a speed fight. Hopefully, I'll go on Raw next month here. Yep. 
Crazy DDP versus Taz and Rhino, and Al Snow versus Rico. Something going on here. Hey, hit man. I'm surprised you took that challenge. A Street Fighter match is no joke. Match, All weapons are illegal in this match. Yeah, I know. You have a lot of confidence. I have a feeling you're going to win the match. Look, you should you should do great. Dang right, I got my face. <laughs> Okay, let's see if let's see if anybody's around. Well, we'll check the locker room, and then if not, we'll check the VIP room. So, yep, everybody's around. Nobody's in here. All right, let's go off the match. Bring a ladder, bring a chair. It don't really make nothing to me. I don't care. I'm sure whip to Jerry's button tonight, or his ass, or whatever. <laughs> okay, see wins this match. Rhino beats crazy. Here we go. In fact, I think I'm gonna make him submit. I, I, well, I got another fish move that makes him submit. If you know which fish move I have, if you didn't pay attention to my finishers on the bottom when I was drafted, so, so I'll, so I'll make him submit. I'm gonna make him tap. I'm gonna make him cry. <laughs> Let's get the ding weapons. There's Cher. Oh! Little DT right there. I keep missing it. Oh, it's a spear. Yes. Oh, dang it. Shoot. I miss him again. Yeah, 
Nick Fowler nailed it. DAT on the chair. Two. Jersey, well, tough here. Oh, now he's grabbing a weapon. He's got a table. No problem with me. I'll pop onto the table. Boom. Three or four. Right, get away from me. Let's make you submit. <laughs> that man sharpshooter. Nope. Didn't give up yet. Another DT in the chair. Oh. Boom. Ankle walk. Pick him up. Oh, legs hurt. That's too bad. No, not yet. I say I won't make him submit. He's gonna submit. No, I did submit there. Oh well. Okay, forget it. <laughs> I just finish him off. So I take it there's no submissions in a street fight, which is odd, but oh well. I'll make him submit. I'll make somebody submit to my sharpshooter, which his legs was hurting. So he. So if, so if this was a normal match, you would submit already. Hey, you did it! Duh. Haha. <laughs> my... My... Prayer worked. I guess. <laughs> I have to win now, too. And also, beats Rico. Okay, we're going to pay-per-view, maybe. Now, fifth week, April. I don't see any of oh, us on the card yet. Everyone, t tonight we have a special guest. Yeah, right heart. Who, who had his debut match the other night? Please welcome him. That's, oh yeah, that's right. My cold task got a SmackDown. How are you doing, him, man? You finally had your debut match. How do you feel about it? I was so excited. It was a great experience. I was squashed. It was a squash match. It's been too easy for me for that one. Well, that's great. So, what's your next goal in the WWE? For a Raw, pay per view, be the champ.
I want to be a tag partner with Maven. I want to be a tag partner with the jury. I want a manager. I don't know what, what to do next. Uh, I'll be back. I see. Good luck with your new career in WWE. Thank you for stopping by tonight. So Billy Kidman wins the Cruiserweight Championship. Oh, they're all titles. And Rikishi's new hardcore champion, and uh, Will Reno keeps his European title. Kidman beats Rico. So, so yeah, guys, I think that was the fifth week of the month. So anyway, guys, I'll be back with May.